Hey everybody, this is the Collins demo, the Hindi Imps Collins demo. I wanted to um, start the video off by walking you through how this uh, unit operates and the intended usage of it. And then um, after that, I will go through and kind of use it in a variety of different ways uh, with a few different tracks so you can hear how it operates in a live mix environment. Um, there will be little tags so that you'll be able to skip ahead to whichever section you want. So you don't have to listen to me ramble on forever about this. You can just skip ahead to the music and the, and the usage. All right. So starting off, just like with every mixed piece of gear I do, you've got the bypass switches. So they are true bypass down completely bypassed as if the XLRs just skip the whole circuit engaged when they're in the up position. Now this unit's a little bit different than the Michelangelo and the Pollock because this one, I, I personally have intended for it to operate with the um, calibration knobs all the way up, but you'll notice this one's a little bit offset because, you know, depending on how the tubes and MOSFET are working and whatnot, you might need to tweak these a little bit. Typically, I just run a 1K tone and then bypass engage, level it out with trim all the way up. Um, you can set these to noon and set the trim where you want it as well. Like there's a variety of different ways that you can set this. It's really the sky's the limit. This is just kind of how I envisioned it being used, but by all means, whatever sounds best to use, please use that. You then have two transformer options, and then you have a MOSFET option, a pentode option, and a triode option. So the MOSFET is a high voltage MOSFET. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a solid state unit, but it's also running off of 400 volts. And uh, it is, it's, it's very punchy, like super, super punchy. It actually can enhance transients in a very, very cool way. Uh, but it'll be the cleaner of the options that you have overall, which is nice. Um, the pentode option is running a, an EF86 or EF806. I use the JJ tubes typically, uh, but you can use any EF86 type tube. That will work fine here. And then the triode is running a 12AX7. Uh, it's biased for a 12AX7, but you can run um, other triode-based tubes that have the same pen out. If you wish, it'll have a varying um, level of results. Uh, but it was intended originally for the 12AX7. And so you, can, you can try them if you wish uh, in any arrangement that you want. Uh, as long as, again, the pen out has to be the same. Uh, okay, then we have the two transformer sections. And instead of going for super clean transformers, I, I felt like I wanted to have a little bit more of a, um, a sonic imprint from them, um, simply because the transformers, uh, if they're too mild, then I don't feel like they're actually doing anything over what's already in it, because this has input transformers, but it's a transformer-less output. And so I wanted these transformers to have a little bit more of a sonic imprint overall. Uh, and so this first one is actually a step-up transformer that I've put in backwards. So it's a mic pre step-up transformer, but it's an iron core, and so it has a lot of sound characteristic. But since it's backwards, what it's actually doing is it's stepping it down. Um, and so you'll notice when you engage this, you'll kind of have a drop in volume, and it allows you to gain it back up with your uh, different topologies. And then this transformer switch is actually a very strange arrangement that I've kind of fallen in love with. What it is, is it's a choke. So yes, a power section choke transformer, uh, which you can use as kind of an inductor is what essentially what's happening. And then you have a bypass capacitor on top of it. And so the EQ curve that you get from it is very colored, again, iron core, but you're going to get um, a little bit of a dip in the low mids. It's intended to be there, and the, and the capacitor up top is supposed to saturate a little bit. Uh, it, it just it adds an interesting texture to to the sound that I really really like, and so um, as you turn these on, so if you have all three of these off, no sound's going to come through. It doesn't matter what you do, no sound's going to come through unless you bypass. What you have to first do is choose the topology that you want and flip it on. Or if you want to have multiples on, you can flip the you know as many on or off as you wish. So let's say that we started with the MOSFET, then you just turn the volume up trim all the way up. You can turn the volume to about where it is in unity and check it. Or if you want to crank it up, that's fine. Bring the you know trim down to compensate and you can have it all the way up. You can have it all the way down. You, you can put wherever you want it. It's really up to you. You can also mix and match, like I said, multiple of these at the same time. The thing is, is that it will start getting obviously louder, so you'll need to compensate with a trim. But you'll notice that the sonic result is going to change, because if one of them is engaged but not the rest, then the rest of them are not part of the impedance of the circuit. Whereas when you engage multiples, it's now affecting the impedance of the circuit together, and so they'll actually change their characteristics. So for instance, let's say that I'm running pentode, and these are all off it'll start distorting, you know, it's really distorting like crazy here. Okay, well, then I engage the triode. It's going to start distorting a little bit less, but the triode will 
you know, we turn that up and then you turn the MOSFET up. By the time you get all three of them up, the total distortion, the total overdrive is actually less for each one of them. And so what it does is it allows you to have an infinite number of options of sonic textures that can be extremely helpful for a variety of mixes. So that's the basic idea. Um, what does the MOSFET sound like? It sounds very, very punchy, very um, robust in the low end. It gives you a wide band response. This adds in a nice clean enhancement that I, I like for mastering a lot. Uh, what does the pentode sound like? The pentode adds a very euphonic compression to it. It, it, it actually can be a little bit brighter um, than either one of these two from time to time, depending upon the mix, because they're very mix dependent. Um, but it just adds a really aggressive just kind of texture to it that's just enhances just about everything that you use it on. I love this. I love both of these, honestly. And then the triode, what you're going to notice about the triode is that it, it's a little bit more mellow than the other two, but it adds this low mid warmth to it and, and to the lows as well. That's just very, very flattering. It, it's between the three of these, especially in conjunction with each other, you're going to be able to attack any mix or any track for that matter, whether it be drums or overheads or guitars or vocals. Any track will benefit from the use of a combination of the three or even just one topology and in conjunction with the transformers if you so wish. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start messing with some, uh, some different tracks. Uh, I'm not going to be able to cover every genre, unfortunately, but hopefully it'll give you an idea for kind of what the, the character of this unit is and how subtle it can be, but also how de <laughs> destructive it can be when you want to just distort stuff. And uh, okay, enjoy. Dark room, dead at night, these photographs, they burn so bright, baby. Hand so close to me, it's my soul that's made of upholstery, join me. So I'm just stuck in between natural and urban scenes. Ten thousand years to the side between Midnight goes so fast when you slip and fall and bust your back, baby Dark room, dead at night, these photographs, they burn so bright, baby Hands so close to me, it's my soul that's made of upholstery, join me Just stuck in between natural and urban scene Ten thousand years to the side between Midnight goes so fast when you slip and fall and bust your back, baby Dead at night, these photographs, they burn so bright, baby So close to me, it's my soul that's made of upholstery, join me. So I'm just stuck in between natural and urban scene. Ten thousand years to the side between. When you slip and fall and bust your back, baby Dark room, dead at night These photographs, they burn so bright, baby Hands so close to me It's my soul that's made of upholstery Join me So I'm just stuck between natural and urban scene Ten thousand years to the side between Midnight goes so fast when you slip and fall and bust your
Nights are long and it all ain't pretty Counting crows in a broken city Pushing drugs to supply the willing And at the end I hope God has pity In the corner of a room That's where deals are made You pay your way He don't come the same Cause scars never fade that easily mm. Fade that easily. Mm. Can I 